Hold on, guys. <clears throat> it's Mitch back at you again. Um, just got done uh, shooting a little while ago. Got back from range, and I figured what better time would it be to do a little review on my NSR Tactical Essentials Kit. And basically, that consists of the C1 holster, which, in my opinion, shines in appendix better in any other position. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what the holster was designed around. Appendix carry, I could be wrong, but like I said, it uh, it's uh, in my opinion, it shines at appendix carry. Um, and then the C or not C1, but the uh, IWB uh, mag carrier, um, and then the K bar TDI knife sheath. And uh, let me start off and say, by far, this is the nicest quality Kydex gear I've ever had in my life. Uh, I didn't know Kydex could get this nice. Um, it's crazy, like the attention, the detail that are put into these uh, products, um, and the the R and D that goes into them is kind of it's kind of amazing. Uh, Dave's a shooter; he uh, he knows what works, he knows what doesn't work, and he's not gonna put out uh, crap gear. And that's what's nice about it. Um, this holster is fully adjustable or tension. Uh, same as the uh, mag carrier you adjust these two screws right here for the retention on the mag carrier and you adjust these two screws right here on the holster for the retention um, both the holster and the mag carrier are uh, fully ambidextrous as well as uh, tuckable as you see you have the strut right here and the soft loop which the uh, strut allows you to tuck your shirt in behind uh, the strut and in between the holster so basically you will uh, all you will see with your shirt tucked in is um, soft loop and it works extremely well even with a fitted shirt and appendix position this gun this, this compact Glock 23 19 size pistol disappears uh, 100% on my body and with even with a fitted shirt and it's it's nice as long as well as the mag uh, the magazine carrier the like I said it's got the strut too so it's tuckable um, the only thing that doesn't have a soft loop and that isn't IWB is the K bar TDI uh, knife sheath it's got this big beefy clip right here and um, it I carry this on the left side of my body uh, appendix um, it's a horizontal sheath. It's nice. It's a nice sheath. Um, it's pretty much a, um, a last-ditch effort. Um, get somebody off, off me. Um, stab the shit out of a knife if I have to. Hopefully, I don't have to. But if I'm fighting somebody and uh, trying to protect my gun, and they're trying to go for my gun or something, as they're fighting me, I can grab this and do a little pokey pokey stabby stabby stitch stitch on their ass and they hopefully they'll let go long enough for me to draw my pistol and uh, do what needs to be done um, like I said both of these are fully ambidextrous just by taking these two screws out right here um, and there's two rubber grommets between the strut and the kydex you flip it over Put them on this side, put your screws on, and then essentially, no pun intended, you have a left-handed holster. As same as the mag carrier, adjust, the, take out these two screws. There's two grommets in between the kydex and the strut. Put them on this side, and then it's set for the other side of your body, um, or different position to carry, whatever you have to adjust it for. Um, Knife sheath is the only thing that's, like I said, the only thing that is not adjustable retention and that is not um, ambidextrous. You have to order this to the side of your liking. Um, so if you order that, just remember that all three of these items can be bought together or purchased separately. And they are quick ship for the Glock. Um, 1923, 1722, like I said, they fit the 1922, 23, 17, 
the 31, the 32, and the 33, which are the 357 SIG Glocks. Uh, they also fit the 27, 26 uh, subcompacts. Um, as you can see, it's an open bottom holster, so the, the 17 and the 22 and the 31 are going to stick out a little bit, but who cares? I don't. Um, it's the, um, to me, that just gives the holster more, uh, what do you call it, more functionality to the holster, um, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the retention on these, I guess. Uh, like I said, the holster and the mag carrier are adjustable retention, so uh, I guess I'll go ahead and show you the um, retention on them. So give me one second. I got to set my phone down and readjust the camera so I have two hands. Hopefully you guys can see this, and it's not a, just a waste of time completely. Um, so I'm shooting this off my phone, so bear with me. Uh, start off with a knife sheath, I guess. Uh, as you can see, the attention, the detail that goes into this is just ama is amazing. Hopefully it'll focus somewhat. Uh, it's going to be a little scratched up and stuff because uh, <clears throat> I've been carrying this the last four and a half, five months since I got it. Every day, all day. Uh, like I said, this is not adjustable retention, it's set, but the retention is perfect. This is not coming out unless you want it to. Like I said, I'm shaking the shit out of this thing, and uh, it's not coming out until you need it. And then when you put it back in, you got a nice click. Not uh, You get a nice click, like I said, it's not coming out until um, until you need it. But it's not like you got to uh, struggle to get it out. Um, but you're not going to pull it out from the side or somebody's not going to wrestle it out all for you, which is nice. Um, they've put a lot of thinking into this thing. It's it's simple, but it, it just works, which is nice about it. Um, not a lot to say. It's ten times better night and day difference between the, the, the shitty stock sheath that the knife came with. I'm kind of surprised they even sold that sheath with that, ni with that n knife. It, Especially being um, that it was marketed to the law enforcement side of things, uh, it's kind of scary to think that they'd put um, they give that knife and then one officer to carry it with that shitty shitty sheath that comes with it. The stock one, Dave's is not shitty. Next is the um, IWB mag carrier. Um, it's gonna be a little dirty because, like I said, I've been using it every day. I did wipe it down a little bit, but uh. Just the edges on these things are like mirrors, man. They're polished to high polish. It's nice. Uh, the attention to detail that goes into these is just amazing. It's uh, It really is. Um, like I said, I could shake this hard enough just because this is a fully loaded magazine and I have the retention set a little bit looser on this. If I really shook it, um, I know, know it'll come out. It's got this heavy plus five base pad on there. But, uh, I like my magazine set a little looser than the uh, my pistol, but it's not going to come out unless I want it to come out, um, this, which is awesome. I could crank it down to where I couldn't even get the magazine out. Um, same with the gun. It, the retention's perfect on it. It's uh, not going to come out. I have it set to my liking. You might not like it, so you could crank it down a little bit uh, tighter, or maybe you don't want it as tight. and. Uh, one a little bit looser soft loop one way pull the dot not coming off from the bottom which is what you want nice good to go stuff and then we'll get to the holster um, yes this is a fully loaded gun I'm not unloading it you see fully loaded gun and you get a little bit of rattle but that's only because I'm shaking the shit out of it and I'm not holding on to this. I know somebody might come and say, oh, you're squeezing the shit out of it, but I'm really not. Um, this thing is not coming out of there until you want it to, and then it comes right out. And then listen to this. This is, this is what sets it off. Listen to this right here. That's just sexiness right there. Um, awesome. The retention is just perfect on this holster 
um, even though it's adjustable. Uh, you get that nice positive click every time, which is I, which I love. And fully loaded gun, it's not coming out, uh, which is awesome. You can see the hol the holster is the same way, nice high polished uh, edges. This is a fold over holster, um, and uh, nice deep sight channel as you can see. Hopefully you can see that. You could get away with the suppressor sight for your front sight. Obviously, your rear sight's not going to matter. I have big dots on here. They're pretty uh, big sights, and there's still plenty of. Hopefully, you can see that. Uh, there's still plenty of room down in the uh, sight channel. Uh, it's this awesome holster. The quality is there all all day long. Um, just the attention to detail that goes into these things are amazing. It's crazy. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm not drown, drowning the thing out with light. Um, it's just awesome. Really nice. Like I said, fully ambidextrous. Uh, it just works. Sweet gear, sweet gear. I love it. Uh, Got to try to keep this under 15 minutes or it's not going to let me up, upload it to YouTube. So, uh... Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I'm going to go ahead and pick the camera back up real quick. Or I'm going to try to. And spin it around. I'm at 11 minutes and 38 seconds. So i got a little bit of time left. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything. I'm trying to think. It's got nice one-way pull of dot snaps. As you can see, they are one-way pull of dot. Uh soft loop is crucial for attaching your pistol especially when it comes to IWB obviously OWB is going to be sturdy belt loops but uh I've seen too many clips let loose in the day and when people draw their gun out their holster and gun come out which is not something you really want to happen when you need your gun um, that can be a difference between life and death in some situations um, same as the uh, IWB mag here it's attached to your belt with a one-way pull a dot which is awesome um, and then you can it's a little hard. you can adjust the soft loop for the size of your belt it's a uh, one and quarter inch and a half and inch and three quarter same as the holster inch and a quarter, inch and a half, inch and three quarter. Um, just awesome stuff. David builds top notch gear. Um, hands down, like I said, I probably sound like a broken record, but hands down the best, the best Kydex I've ever had in my life. Um, and I have a lot of holsters. I've been carrying a gun since I was 21. I'll be 29 in May. So I have a tub of them fucking things, and as you can imagine, I spent a lot of money on holsters, and uh, I will be using this for a long time to come. This is gonna be a, a this is a great holster if you're looking for a, a concealment holster um, to carry your gun. Dave has a whole bunch of guns he can make this holster for it's not going to be quick ship unless you get it for a Glock 19, 23, 17 all the standard size Glocks not the 45's or 10 millimeters but 9 millimeters um, and 40 calibers it's all going to be quick ship same as the shield Smith & Wesson shield it's going to be quick ship um, alright guys that's about it uh, hopefully I didn't repeat myself too much and I didn't bore you guys to death um, so that was a re quick little review of my NSR tactical essentials kit which basically like I say consists of the holster the C1 holster um, IWB mag carrier which holsters obviously IWB and the K bar TDI knife sheath alright guys I will Catch you on the next one. Later.